I feel like something we do as collectors, like something we do as just such passionate fans of the Cars diecast universe and all the movies and all that stuff is we speculate about releases we would love to have in the future, but realistically we'll never get like, is it just me and my friends or do you guys do that too? Like, we'll be like, oh yeah, I love like a silver Doc Hudson. I love a metallic Noah Gochak or whatever, something like that. And I feel like one that always comes up is Metallic Snot Rod. And I'm not joking. At least one of the tuners comes up. And of course, we have gotten a Metallic DJ in the past. And now we have Metallic Snot Rod. So maybe one day we can get a Metallic Boost and Wingo. I think those would look insane. So maybe one day, guys. But this is very exciting. So yeah, welcome back to another Disney docket presentation. Of course, today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing Metallic Snot Rod, who came out of 2020 Singles Case N. If you missed that unboxing, I'll link it in the description below, along with the card suggestion pop-up in the top right-hand corner. So go and enjoy that. It's a ton of fun. And yeah, we're just going to dive right on in here. So as per usual, they use the normal artwork for Snot Rod, who they release as just a regular plain single in KC, I think. Yeah, KC for 2020. So it's been out since January. And now in the last case, we get him in a special metallic edition in the scavenger hunt series, which means that he should technically be only included in one case, but this bugger right here got included in multiple ones, even though that's technically not allowed, right? Anyway, you have Cal Weathers, Jonas Carvers, and Hauling Gas here on the back, and that is, of course, Body Shop Union Jack Ramon. So he's in with good company. I mean, at least for like these, uh, those, yeah, I like these guys, <laughs> especially this guy. Question is, have I reviewed him yet? I mean, I have the video recorded, but when am I going to release it? I just, I don't know. Yeah, guys, I pre-recorded a ton of videos before I left for college and I still obviously haven't gotten around to releasing them all because if I just went crazy and release them all at one time, I'd have no content to do for the rest of the months that I'm gone. But I didn't expect to visit home. Like if you guys don't know, I'm home right now, actually on the weekend of September 25th, came home for a couple days, can do a couple videos for you guys. But yeah, I have to prioritize. Like I can't do all the videos in the world. I wish I could do Pixar Fest. I wish I could do Josh Cool, and I wish I could do Metallic brand new made or stuff like that but those videos will just have to wait but yeah guys this one nah Metallic's not rad he doesn't deserve to wait he deserves to be reviewed right now so I'll be right back with him all opened up One word for this guy, wow. I'm in awe with him right now. He looks incredible out of the package. And without a doubt, before I even start analyzing him right now, I could say he will go down in my book as one of my top five favorite Metallic releases. And to provide some context, Metallic has done probably around 30 to 40 Metallic releases since 2010. So, that's saying something. This guy is incredible. We've never quite seen a burnt orange like this before. I do have a couple other samples that yeah, they're kind of close, but really this is just stunning. And the fact that they changed his expression from the original snot rod, which you could see right here. And now obviously Thailand versus China, but even the Chinese version of regular snot rod doesn't have this expression to my knowledge. I don't think so. Maybe Either way though, it's the expression essentially of Snot Rod with Flames. This is the Chinese version here, the only version of Snot Rod with Flames that they did. And it's just a more fitting expression for him, you know, cause obviously he's like squinching his eyes up and he's all looking down and stuff like that. So it's just a little bit more fitting in my opinion than flat face. They're just kind of no expression stoical snot rod over here. Now I'll just real quick put a picture of him on the screen, even though we all know where he appeared, but just gotta be formal about it. I didn't do that for transforming McQueen, but yeah, come on, you guys know where he appeared in the movie by now. The movie's been out since 2006. But yeah, just taking a look here at the blown engine. It looks really nice. 
it's kind of got like a darker gray than what they've been using previously they started off using a, back in 2006 a dark gray for the plastic blown engine but they really lined up on it and now they're kind of getting darker again you can see the orange in there looks really cool they did a nice job with it you can see sr there on the grill and that's actually pretty clear coming from thailand of course standing for snot rod you have the grill he's kind of got a little bit of a smile i don't know he just kind of seems really intense <laughs> of course you have the rims up here with the orange stripe there are the infamous exhaust pipes it's got a light gray base nowadays before you had more of a darker gray one we can focus the date stamp there is n29a which means he was released in the 29th week or he was made produced in the 29th week of 2020 which is what the n stands for at the a factory in thailand now one thing they changed here for thailand are the windows so they're opaque you know much well by opaque i mean like you can't see through them whereas these are technically transparent because you can it's just dark and that's why you don't see anything but for these like it's just straight up you know this light gray here color that i don't think it looks great because it seems a little unrealistic to have such oddly colored windows i think these look better but that's just kind of the direction they're headed in right now you have snot rod there and that cool like tuner font that's like the 2000s font the bigger wheels here in the back and then you have the black stripe with s over r snot rod on the blue license plate beautiful car here like i've even mentioned the metallic but i'm just in awe about it it's so stunning you have to see it in person to really just absorb the beauty of this guy he is incredible one of the best metallic releases ever he looks so different from the normal version like look at that i feel like if you look at most metallic releases nowadays like they obviously look different but they're not like blaringly different if you looked at miguel camino and his metallic non-metallic version with this one you'd be like mm, that's cool but this is like whoa bro metallic did a good job with this one and yeah of course here you have metallic dj who was one of the first metallic cars released back in 2010 as a chase and they look great together this kind of has like a purple tint to it and i think yeah mattel just did a great great job with both of these and i have to go with stot rod that was my favorite just because of the orange is such a unique metallic color whereas we've seen blue a ton of times and like i said if you look at both of these like they look very similar but these i mean those are two different shades all together so guys who would you like to see next as a metallic you know i feel like the popular choice would be boost because who wouldn't like to see a purple metallic? But I feel like it would look very similar to hauling gas. Like I feel like it would end up looking quite similar to that. So I'm actually gonna go with Wingo here. And I feel like they should do him as another dual metallic super chase. Or maybe they could just throw us a bone and just do it as a regular release. Because I feel like if you make him metallic, you have to make the flames metallic as well. These are purple design like you can't make just this green part metallic and leave the purple part normal i think that'd look a little weird so i think if you have this purple part here metallic and the green that would be stellar you can leave all these decals here the same and then the spoiler it's a real tough question i think you do have to make the spoiler metallic as well because they did it with dj just the badge if they left dj spoiler not metallic like it, it looks so out of place and I get that it's plastic and it's hard to, you know, make it look the same, but they did successfully on DJ. So I feel like if they did Wingo, they'd have to do that. But in mentioning all these things, I just realized that it's so difficult. Mattel just would not do it. Mattel shies away from a challenge. They talk about all those things. Like they'd sit down and think about like upcoming releases and they talk about all those things that I just mentioned and they'd be like, nope, we're just not doing it. That's too difficult. They like cars like Snot Rod that have just simply one color, you know, maybe one little decal on there like that. And it's super easy to make metallic and it looks good too. Like I can't complain. It looks really nice. Like I said, one of my favorites, but Wingo, you know, they could technically do him really, really nicely, but it would require a bit of effort. 
Mattel is lazy. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. Who is your favorite tuner and who would you like to see Metallic next? Did want to show Florida Ramon here with it's not red. These shades of orange are kind of similar, but a little bit different. But yeah, he's the best comparison I could do for him. Yeah, now officially, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye now.